Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're covering a recent health update. President Donald Trump, age 79, has been diagnosed with chronic venous insufficiency or CVI. It's a common vein condition. Chronic venous insufficiency does not only affect older adults, but it is more common in older adults. Let's break down what this diagnosis means. On July 17, 2025, the White House officially confirmed that Trump was diagnosed with chronic venous insufficiency following leg swelling observed during public appearances. The diagnosis was made after vascular studies and bilateral leg ultrasounds, which ruled out more serious issues like deep vein thrombosis, arterial disease, heart failure, or kidney problems. CVI occurs when the vein valves in the legs don't properly return blood to the heart, leading to the pooling and increased pressure. It affects roughly 1 in 20 to 1 in 30 adults, especially those over the age of 70. Symptoms include mild swelling, leg aching or heaviness, varicose veins, and in severe cases, skin changes or ulcers. It's very common in those that are age 70 and above, and risk factors include standing or sitting for long periods, obesity, family history, prior blood clots. Trump's reported swelling and bruising, potentially from aspirin use and frequent handshaking, led to the vascular tests. CVI is generally manageable through conservative measures, compression, stockings, leg elevation, regular movement exercise, possible medications for blood flow improvement, and certain medications can help the condition. For more advanced cases, minimally invasive procedures like sclerotherapy, endovenous ablation, or laser therapy are available. The White House noted no signs of acute complications, meaning it's being managed conservatively. While CVI is not life-threatening, it signals the importance of monitoring vein health in older adults. Early recognition and lifestyle adjustments can prevent progression to more serious complications like leg ulcers or deep vein clots. This is an educational breakdown only, not a medical evaluation of any individual. Trump's wider health remains with, within normal limits and no additional systemic issues were detected. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment with health topics you'd like me to explain next, whether it's vascular health, aging, or preventative care. See you next time.